hello YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be my ninth and 10th week pregnancy update. If this is your first video of seeing of mine, hi again, my name is Jane. welcome. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe if you like my content or if you wanna see the rest of my pregnancy journey. And let's just jump right into it. All right, y'all, so first things first, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little mini snippet of a life update y'all these past like three weeks have been crazy so ashley who is my partner her nephew is staying with us for a few weeks because ashley's brother went out of the country and he's in the navy so we just kept him for a little bit and also just to give him a little break he's a father full time so we just decided to go ahead and let Ashley's nephew come and stay with us. So it's been a really huge eye opener because I've never like lived with a toddler like every single day and like taking care of a toddler. So it's just getting me ready for motherhood and it's just, I just don't understand how people do it. Like how people like go to school or work or just function with toddlers running around. It just it's just really opening my eyes and it's showing me like okay I have a lot of practice to do and there's gonna be a lot of sleep deprivation <laughs> so that's why I decided to do my ninth and tenth week updates together I really want to do weekly updates and I'm going to start not saying that he has been a distraction which isn't the case I just really want to nurture him and pour into him as much as I possibly can and by the time it's like seven or eight o'clock when it's time for him to go to bed I'm spent and I'm ready to go to bed as well so I apologize you guys for not keeping my word but I will I promise like I promise you guys I will keep my word and I will do weekly updates I just have to figure out what is a good you know schedule for us he's currently with Ashley's grandmother so that's why I have time right now at this very moment to film this but yeah so enough of me blabbing that's just really what my situation has been if you guys don't pay attention to what I put in my community tab I like kind of send you guys kind of like updates like kind of like text updates or whatever. And I was just letting you guys know that my ninth and 10th week pregnancy update is behind because of just having time to film and I'm in school and it's just a lot of factors going on. I just have to figure out a good groove. Maybe when he's taking a nap or something, I can like quietly make a video or something because I don't want to wake him. But yeah, let's get into the update. So again, if you're new to my channel, I use the Pregnancy Plus app and this video is not sponsored. I I, I'm not even that big of a YouTuber yet, but I just really enjoy the app and it's very, very interactive and it's informative and I just love the way that the app is set up. So for nine weeks, I'm going to show you guys what baby looks like and what size baby was. And I'm going to tell you guys um, little the little stats on baby. So at nine weeks, this is what my little baby looked like again y'all excuse this nail i'm getting these taken off tomorrow but uh yes look at little baby at nine weeks baby is the size of a date let me go in and read the little stats of the baby so week nine the fingers and toes become properly separated losing any webbing the eyes are moving from the side of the head to the front where they'll eventually be located bone development continues and you can even start to see Join. So that's really interesting. Baby is looking more and more like a baby every single week. And it's just amazing how quickly the baby grows from a ball of cells to actually looking like a human being in just eight weeks of gestational age. Because the two weeks technically that you add on to your pregnancy, you're not even pregnant, like you're having your period and like ovulating. So it's just crazy just how fast all of this goes. So for nine weeks pregnant, nine weeks was a very, very interesting week for me. I, if you didn't watch my last video, I'll link it up in the eye in the sky. But that week that I was filming, I was currently at that stage, like about nine weeks pregnant. And I had like a cold or something it was just something at the end of eight weeks going into nine weeks i was back home in indiana for a little bit and it was just a nice time to be home and it, it just was nice but i came home with the cold and 
that really like put a damper on like how I was feeling. And also during nine weeks, actually the day I got back, yeah, the night I got back from Indiana, which was like a Thursday, I believe, that's the day Grayson came, which is Ashley's nephew. And yeah, he, it was, it just was like, wow, like, you know, you go from not having a baby in the house to having a baby, well, to having a toddler in the house, and it's like, oh my God, <laughs> you know? And I feel like I kind of got hit hard because not only am I in my first trimester and I have my nausea and my exhaustion, but I also had that cold that also made me feel like just icky. And then I had the two year old I had to take care of. And you know, it just, um, to me it just shows me like, you know, when you're a mother, you can't take sick days. Like you have to take care of your child. Your child needs to eat, your child needs a bath, your child needs to play, your child's gonna wanna hang all on you. So it just showed me that. And that that's a really, that was a really good eye opener because it, it really just put into perspective what motherhood is gonna be like. But nine weeks, I was sick. <sighs> nine weeks is the first time, I, I don't have the specific like nine weeks and two days or whatever, but in my ninth week was the first time I threw up my whole pregnancy. The whole pregnancy. And I don't know how to explain it, but like I don't know if I was like just sick or if it was the pregnancy. So. I don't know I threw up once during nine weeks it I was feeling nauseous so I don't know I don't know you guys tell me you guys think it was the baby or you think it was a sickness I don't know also in nine weeks I think this was because I was ill like actually sick I did not have an appetite nothing sounded good like it wasn't necessarily aversions but it just I just did not want to eat anything so that was something that was kind of weird I also was having GI issues but I think my body was trying to like regulate itself because I've been constipated my whole pregnancy like literally it's been like the worst I maybe had like one or two bowel movements during the whole week of each week so that's not normal for me that's not normal at all i typically that typically go like every single day also nine weeks i noticed i was out of breath like i don't know if you guys could tell in that last video but it sounded like i like walked up a million miles of stairs and i still feel out of breath now but then i don't know if it was because of the sickness and i couldn't breathe and then the pregnancy it was just so many factors but i don't really know which factor it was but I was very much so out of breath so if you guys watch that video that I did link up in the eye in the sky you guys will notice like how I was talking trying to catch my breath and all that other good stuff <laughs> this is kind of funny but I also noticed that I had itchy nipples like my nipples were itching my boobs have grown I have noticed that I have noticed that the actual like uh like my boobs my boobs are a lot fuller so it's not like they like quadrupled in size it's just they they're fuller so naturally my breasts are pretty flat at the top and then at the bottom I have like a little curve but now it's like completely full all the way around which I'm not I'm not upset about what else oh I was having crazy vivid dreams and it's like I woke up feeling like I was like it was just life happening and then I woke up like what like what's happening I had to wake up to pee most of the time but yeah it's like what like I go from not really dreaming at all I'm not really a dreamer naturally but now <laughs> yeah it's almost every single night like every single night or even during my naps like it's horrible and I read that when you dream you're not really in a deep sleep so I'm not getting good quality sleep because I'm dreaming or I'm remembering my dreams because everyone dreams but when you remember your dreams you're not in deep sleep week nine my cravings when I did have an appetite or when I was wanting something was either pizza or breakfast food so that's pretty much it I didn't really have any aversions I just really wasn't really hungry and but when I was I was either wanting pizza or I was wanting breakfast food Okay, let's go into week 10. Let's make this fast. So week 10, baby looked like this. Look, look at my little baby. <laughs> so baby was the size of a fig in week 10. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I've never had a fig before, so 
when I saw that I was like mm, what's that <laughs> I knew it was a fruit but I've never eaten a fig before some of the stats on baby if you can touch the little fingers you can feel tiny fingernails beginning to form this week blood will begin circulating between the uterus and fetus and the placenta will start functioning and the risk of congenital defects become low now as the vital organs are fully formed that's really good to hear that you know the risk of baby having any congenital issues is tremendously the risk is is lower because all of the organs are in place and fully formed so that's nice so week 10 was kind of similar to week 9 also on week 10 I'm not I'm not a small girl by any stretch of the imagination I'm pretty thick so I have a little I have a pudge like I'm not I'm not ashamed of it it is what it is but what I noticed in week 10 was after I eat dinner and mm, if I don't really have to go to the like go pee or whatever I lay on my back and I feel in my uterus area and I can feel it um, it's a little hard it's a little it's getting harder so typically it's like pretty soft but now at night especially it gets a little harder so to me I'm like okay maybe my uterus is growing like baby's getting bigger it's gonna get harder <laughs> Also, after dinner, I just feel really bloated. Like, like my actual stomach is like hard, harder to the touch than normal, and I just feel stuffed. Like, even if I don't eat that much, I just feel very full. I can get full very quickly. Also, nausea was still a thing in week ten, but I ended up throwing up again. It was like right before I turned eleven weeks. Today, at this very moment, I am eleven weeks and one day. So, it was about three days ago, two, two days ago, I literally like, like felt kind of like motion sickness. I was sitting down watching TV, Grayson was crawling all over me and I think him crawling over me just kind of made me nauseous and I had to run to the bathroom and throw up, like I really had to. So, I threw up one time, 10 weeks. At the end of the 10 week mark so at that point I knew it wasn't the sickness anymore it definitely was the pregnancy so the last symptom that I really noticed in week 10 was a sharp pain in my boob so I was having the sharp pain in my lower stomach still not like every day it was like once like during 10 weeks but shortly after or before I felt like just like once or twice a sh like a sharp shooting pain in my boob and I've been wearing sports bras y'all since probably week six when or week five when my sore boobs was like on 12 but yeah like that was kind of weird for me I'm like okay what does that mean like but I felt like a sharp sharp pain in, my, in both boobs okay so cravings cravings I craved in week 10 Olive Garden mozzarella sticks if y'all haven't had those, like if you're not uh, sensitive to dairy, which I am, but if you're not sensitive to dairy or if you don't care about your dairy sensitivity sometimes, then you should definitely go to Olive Garden and try the mozzarella sticks. It's an appetizer. It's not that expensive. It's really, they're so good. And they come with like marinara sauce. So good. Pizza was also a craving still. I think maybe that's kind of why the mozzarella sticks came into play because they're like cheesy and basically like a cheese pizza but you know mozzarella sticks so mozzarella sticks pizza and breakfast like I can never get over breakfast like breakfast to me is bae at this point point. and the aversion that I did have for week 10 was water I could not drink water to save my life and I'm forcing myself I'm forcing myself to drink three liters or like it's like 90 fluid ounces or something like that like yeah y'all that's pretty much it i really hope you guys enjoyed this pregnancy update and go ahead and leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up so i know what you guys want and i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys so so much so much I, 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 I,